In this video, we're going to install Dragon OS LTS. This is a pretty big change uh, moving forward from uh, the Debian uh, Dragon OS 10 build. Uh, again, that's Debian based. This is going to be Lubuntu 1804 based. The reason why I'm making the switch moving forward is I wanted to be able to support UEFI and disk encryption, and the installer that uh, was in the Debian build just could not support that. So in order to uh, support a wider range of equipment, uh, I've made this change. It's going to have it's going to look nearly identical to the Debian build. Matter of fact, all the uh, current YouTube videos uh, will work. All the same software is there. There's a couple uh, differences, and uh, I'll make sure I highlight that in any future videos uh, I make. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. I, I wanted to video this in a real machine, uh, but just because of my setup right now, I'm just going to go ahead and show it in VirtualBox. But I highly recommend you take the ISO, burn it to USB, whether it's uh, using Etcher or whatever other tool that you prefer to use. Burn that ISO to USB or DVD, and then go ahead and install it in some real equipment to get the best performance out of your software-defined radio. So I'll go ahead and start this up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it booting into uh, legacy mode. You can see a slightly different screen here. We'll go ahead and boot this up. I'll point out to uh, the user, or the, it's going to boot up and it's going to go into the desktop, but in case you leave this sitting too long when it's installing and the screen locks up, uh, to unlock it, the user is just live. L-I-V-E, no password. Um, I've had to enter it uh, twice uh, before, but usually that, that first time will get you back in. So just remember that the user is live. Everything that was installed via uh, a source, that's uh, located in the user source directory, just like in the last build. Okay, so here we are logged in. First thing you see, incomplete language support, you can ignore that. Uh, once you get it installed, uh, throw some internet at it, you can update the language support, that'll go away. So I'll close that for right now. You can see everything looks fairly similar. Uh, a couple things I noticed with uh, this build, the Lubuntu, uh, or at least one thing that stood right out to me is you'll notice sometimes there'll be two network icons there. And one is actually a, uh, you can see there's an indicator applet, and then there's a notification applet. And sometimes I think it's maybe when you lose internet or you give it, a notification pops up, so it makes it look like there's two uh, network icons there. It's harmless. Uh, I'm just pointing it out. It's something I noticed. Um, everything else, you can see uh, the shortcuts either are in here where I'm pointing out, or they're installed uh, in the user source directory, you can see some of the programs that are there. Other programs, I'll just have to get to documenting, like Universal Radio Hacker. Um, you just need to know the, the commands to, to start those up. But let's go ahead and get started here. You just uh, double click the installer that's on the desktop. Looks similar to the last installer, but you'll see where. Uh, where we get some differences here. So I'm not going to download anything. Uh, the reason being is I just want it to where it's uh, left off or, or, or basically is where I left off when I built it. So I know everything works. Uh, uncheck mark in both of these. Honestly, check marking them should be fine. That way you get probably all the support you need for whatever hardware it is that you're putting it on, but it but it does make some changes. Uh, you come through here. Uh, we'll go ahead, erase disk and install Dragon OS. I'll go ahead and show you. I'll encrypt the drive. That's a difference there. Don't forget your security key. You'll need that when you boot back up. It's going to ask you to unlock the hard drive.
Okay, write the changes to disk. Select your time zone. And the installer will run. It'll prompt you to uh, restart when it's done. It'll take the installation media out, boot back up, put your uh, key in to unlock the hard drive if you chose to encrypt it, and then go ahead and log in with the user that you made. Okay, just to show you what happens when you leave it sit too long, you come back here, you'll just put live in. So the installation's finished. We'll go ahead and restart. I see I encrypted the drive. So we'll unlock that. Like I mentioned, I've got uh, an internet connection, so I can go ahead and run the language support update. Okay. Three things I want to point out. First, check that uh, you've got your app directory. For some reason, I've noticed uh, a couple times after installing, it's missing. That's why I put it here. If you needed, you could. You could copy it back. Let's see, what else? Uh, you need to add your created user to the Kismet group with that command there. And that won't take effect till you uh, log out and then log back in. And then last, uh, you, you're sitting in your user source directory like I am right now. Let's change to Q-Spectrum Analyzer. And for some reason, uh, you, you probably are gonna need internet to install this or to finish the installation. It just would not stay in place after uh, I uh, remastered my distribution. So you need to run, make sure you put the period there. It will install uh, what I have already put there. Okay, now you have QSpectrum Manager up under, or QSpectrum Analyzer up under Education. We've got GQRX, SDR Angel, Wireshark Zen Map, GNU Radio GSM Live Monitor, GNU Radio Companion, the Lime Suite, and I'll start detailing everything else here hopefully in the future. The uh, previous videos I did for Dragon OS 10. As long as you did everything I just did right now, uh, you should be able to use those same videos uh, on this distribution. Uh, moving forward, I will probably focus on making videos uh, for this, this newer build. Uh, again, there is a lot of similarities uh, 
software wise between Dragon OS 10 and then this Dragon OS LTS. I've tried to keep them nearly identical uh, with the addition of uh, some new packages on uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon OS uh, LTS.